Hi guys! So, finally doing this video on wait a bit. gym ball. So yeah, I'm finally getting to open up this. You're in charge of video. Alright, so. Yeah, this is supposed to have a. Um, well, I haven't looked in it. I've looked like I've opened it up and I've pulled out this. And I, was like, oh. I haven't really looked at it. So this is like. This is a pump. Comes in there. And. Oh, this is quite weird. This is the ball. And this is some instructions. Okay, it gives you a little guide. It gives you a little guide on there as well. Yeah, okay. We can look at that at a different time. So we're gonna um me, yes me and you. <laughs> we're gonna open this up, see what's going on. I don't want to rip like. I don't know. That's why I'm allowed to keep everything. <laughs> so okay, this is coming in the bag too. I don't even know what that is. Let me take this out because that might help. Oh, there's two. Another one. Okay, yeah, and this is from Everlast. It's Everlast brand, yeah. As you can see. Yeah. Let's see yeah. I don't even know. Let me look on this. Stop that. So what's that stopper for? I think this is a stopper. Oh. Started. Stop it. It doesn't even tell you how to go up here. You're supposed to just know. Okay, this is this goes in here. And it's got the screw thing. <laughs> I think he's blowing up though. I don't know. It sounds like it. This is like an exercise in this. Oh, you get what I'm saying? This is definitely like a double pack exercise kit. One for your arm. Is that? Oh, of course it feels like it's coming out. The air. So don't take the thing out then, because it's... 
So yeah, I'm about, I don't know, this is quarter of the way. We're getting there, we're getting there, it looks kind of small, I don't know. Could have gone to a gas station, maybe and used their thing, but I don't know if that would work, we can fit in. I don't know, but... I'm going to continue. <laughs> Yeah, you see, we're almost finished. Go back a bit. Almost tired. If you want to work out, like this is definitely an arm workout. I haven't done no, um, I haven't done a yoga in about two days now. I just had other things to do. And I was like, you know what, today is have a yoga or just get this video out there. Been trying to do this video for like a month now. Seriously. Because I've been doing the yoga and I've wanted to do some extra um do some extra exercises, work on my core, hence the ball. And um, yeah, some other stuff I will talk about in the future. But right now, yeah, this is for the core and everything else. Mainly my core. Seriously, I really thought it was going to be harder. Um, it take longer, but yeah. I don't even know how. Do not inflate full power. Specified diameter. What is a specified diameter? Stops. I'm trying to get the lines out. That's that's as well. A bit standing up for the last leg. What a thing! I'm here. Can you hear that? until the lines have completely gone because it's it's more or less fullish I don't know if the air is coming out of it I feel like it's, it's inflated so I'm gonna put this cork up take out <laughs> Oh 
when you say it, that's okay. It's, it's, it feels that you saw a fat selfish. I didn't give it yesterday anyway. I don't know if it can go anymore. You feel like it can go up what? Oh man. You think it can go up more, it needs to be more firmer. Keep your water. Alright, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna do a um I'm gonna do a little tutorial thingy bob and see how that goes at like this inflated thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you three little exercises for your core muscles using the fifth ball. So, remember your core muscles are the muscles that wrap around your trunk. They include your abdominal muscles and some of your spinal muscles. So, these little exercises are going to help you to strengthen those muscle groups. The first exercise is your abdominal exercise. So, you need to walk your feet in, lengthen your spine, set your posture so your spine is tall and the crown of your head is lifted towards the ceiling and your chest is lifted upwards. You can bring your arms down as not the ball. Gently activate your lower abdominal muscles, that means drawing the lower abdominal wall in towards your spine. Stay nice and tall and you can start with a leg lift and extend and bring it back and take it down. Your goal is to try to keep the ball as steady as you can. Lift, extend, back and down. Now if you find that too charming, you can just do a little knee lift and down and knee lift and down and work into the leg. Lift, extend and back and down. Remember the importance of keeping your abdominal muscles activated. Out and back and down. Take your legs wide. She makes it very easy. Lean forward, relax through your back, relax through your tummy, shoulders up and down, back and around, and bring your feet together. And you can repeat that up to 10 times and do that a couple of times a day. Okay. Now, our next exercise involves coming forward over the ball on the ground. So we're going to move down onto the ground, kneeling behind the ball. So coming down into kneeling, we're going to come forward over the ball. Now, if so for some ladies, this can make them feel uh, a bit uncomfortable through their tummy. If you don't feel comfortable with that, then that's fine. You can do this exercise on your hands and knees. If you'd like to use the ball to add that extra challenge to your core, this is the exercise. Coming forward over the top of the ball, head down. Remember, we're going to try to engage our lower abdominal muscles, so we're going to try to gently activate the lower abdominal wall, and we're going to lift and lengthen, and take it back. So this is a slow control exercise. Lift and lengthen and back. So you're only taking your foot up to the level with your body, you're not taking it any higher, you want to hyper extend that lower back. Sure, Important to keep your chin down. So I'm trying to be mindful of keeping my chin down while I'm talking to you. Head down and back. I'll do a couple more. Again, oh. trying to lengthen, keep my tummy muscles activated. Slow and control, lift and lengthen and taking it back. And now sliding back when you finish, stretching out behind the body to a beautiful back stretch. Try and sink your bottom down towards the ground. Head down and coming up. Now our final exercise is called back stretch, the lower back stretch. So at this point you roll the ball out and you're coming to sitting. So we're going to come sitting out behind the ball. And to do this exercise, I'm going to lie right down. If you need to use a pillow, then do so underneath your head. Bring your, the ball underneath the legs, lifting your legs up one at a time to keep it safe for your back and safe for your feel on the floor. Extend the ball out. Now when you start with this exercise, keep your arms down. Sneaky trick, keep your feet apart if you feel the core stability is great for starters. And then you... One moment. Let me get this. Keeping the ball stable, lift your bottom up in the air and relaxing down. Now you can bring your feet a bit closer together where you feel a bit more comfortable with that exercise. Shoulders back and down, lifting up, trying to keep really stable. So I'm really trying to work hard there, trying to keep that ball still. Lifting up, holding it stable and down. And I'm really trying not to rip off the back of my thighs. I'm trying to use my bottom muscles to strengthen my bottom and my lower back with that particular exercise. 
Let's do a couple more reps, lifting up and down. And you can see I'm just going to take my body to a horizontal position, to a straight line position from my feet through my shoulders and taking it down there, rolling the ball in, stretch out your lower back, hold that position there and release. And again, to come off the ball safely, one foot at a time, comes off, ball can come in and coming up sideways and coming up. So there you have it, three great little core exercises. What did we do? We did a seated knee lift. We did our, our forwards over the ball, alternate arm and leg raise. And then we also did our backward floor bridge lying down on the ground. So for more exercises, uh, come and visit me at Pelvic Exercises. I look forward to exercising with you again soon. Bye for now. quite cool um i'm gonna actually incorporate that into my not those but this fall into my exercise routine for my core I actually like it. i think i'm gonna actually blow this up a bit more inflate this a bit more because it feels a bit soft i think um it's all right still it's all right <laughs> but yeah i'm actually quite satisfied it wasn't as easy as i thought it was because I don't know if you watch my yoga sessions, my yoga journey, my balance is kind of... So this is like, it looks easier and the woman's ball is not moving at all. I don't want her name is, what's her name? Michelle Kenway. Her ball is not moving at all, so she just makes it look easy. So when I was doing like, oh, oh, you know, and then you feel, you know, your legs, your core, your, your thighs, um, yeah, so... Gym ball, thumbs up for me, and I'm going to continue and try to incorporate this at least minimum two to three times a week. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. <laughs>